Global Foundation for Civilizational Harmony, GFCH in short. So we took the idea, spoke to the members of GFCH, the people like um, Subhash Chandra, who is the chairman of uh, Global Foundation for Civilizational Harmony, Ajit Goval, Vijay Kapoor, and, and, their, and their team discussed it and said we should take this up and uh, here we are. We are watching it as a reality. I have been associated with GFCH from the time it was conceived. Been there at the inaugural uh, function last year in uh, Delhi. Great stalwarts like Sri Dalai Lama, Sri Abdul Kalam, His Holiness Swami Dayananji, Nityanandji, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, Baba Ramdev, Vedanti, the, that time the chief of uh, Akali Tal Golden Temple, Madhani from Dioband Islami group, etc. took part in this event and they have all become the founder patrons of Global Foundation for Civilizational Harmony. So it's an organization which believes in initiating dialogues between various faiths. GFCH is strongly convinced that every prayer is valid, every faith is valid and every civilization is precious. And there must be harmony between civilizations. And some of the conflicts which the world sees today, GFCH is convinced that Eastern philosophy, Eastern thought, has the ability and the potential to dissolve these conflicts. That is the vision. From there they have taken up this movement further. Quite a few dialogues have taken place with other faiths. They have organized, GFCH has organized programs like uh, a meet of Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and uh, Madhini of uh, Dioban's Islamic group. Both came together in Hyderabad. Around 30,000 people were attending it. And the discussion was how we bring down terrorism in our country. This way, a lot of dialogues have been, have happened in last one year between uh, top people of various religious faiths. And uh, in the coming month, I mean in this month, on 16th, in Bangalore again, there is one such meet which GFCH has taken up. And one more thing which GFCH did, which is very, very commendable is, uh, which was spearheaded by Swami Dayananji. This was on 10th December last year. In the human rights meeting, worldwide human rights meeting, GFCH took the initiative and spearheaded by Swami Dayananji, who is also found a patron of GFCH, have made the UN understand and the United Nations have agreed that rights to retain one's faith is part of human rights and rights not to be induced out of one's faith is again part of human rights. This is a very very important aspect. Naturally this will help more harmony between civilizations. That's a very commendable act done by GFCH.